Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Claire, happy Christmas. Um, I'm going to show you a video now um, of a straight pour I did a couple of weeks ago. Um, I did this triptych, um, which was my first ever triptych with the continuous pattern. So I put the, the, the three canvases on a board, poured one puddle on and tilted it out as, so it's one design over three canvases. And I was so happy with it. I'll put the link for this video in the description, but I had a lot of leftover paint. Um, when I had to get so much paint on there to get the design, I had quite a lot of leftover drips onto the worktop. So instead of just throwing that, I always scrape it. And I got this amazing um, bluey colored paint. So I'm going to show you what I did with the leftovers. Um, it's a little hexagonal canvas it's come out beautifully so sweet such a sweet painting um so this is what happened so here are the three colors i'm using this is just amsterdam white um this one is this color here amsterdam where is it can't read upside down um prussian blue thalo amsterdam prussian blue thalo and then this one is the all of the mixed up leftovers so after i finished that pour the the triptych pour i there was a lot of paint dripped all over the worktop so i used my spatula scraped it all up and this is the amazing color that's resulted it's a little bit shimmery because there's some iridescence in it it's a kind of tealy very bluey turquoisey it's just beautiful so all of that was just waste so and you, actually to show you the can you see the consistency of it nice and creamy quite thick that was going to go to waste as was this one here so i've just mixed up some more white and i'm going to sandwich that in between these colors um i'm going to layer up um this cup here the silicon cup i'm going to start with just a little bit of white um, in fact i'll pour down this side And then I'm just going to layer all the colours on top of each other. And I'm going to put white, I think, in between each layer. What I'm aiming for is a lighter painting than the triptych. The triptych was very, very dark. I don't want it, I don't want a white painting here. I would like it lighter. So I'm doing bigger layers of the mixture, smaller layers of the um, the Prussian blue phthalo because there's not as much of that. And I guess the point of this is to use up leftovers. So it just seems silly if I then start mixing up more other than the white. There we go, what a pretty cup. I'm using a 40 centimetre hexagonal canvas. I've just hammered in the, the big push pins into the back and then levelled it. I find hexagonal canvases are really difficult to level. I think because there's six sides, maybe when the canvas is made, it's, it's more difficult to manufacture so that it's completely flat. I'm not sure, but I always find them tricky. So I'm going to do, I've am denied, I'm going to do a straight pour because I, I love straight pours. I'm going to pour in the centre. Um, I'm going to twist my hand around and I'm going to move my hand up and down just to get some different designs. Um, here we go.
Right, there it is. Um, my first thoughts, I'm a little bit disappointed because I've got a kind of grey colour. I loved it. When it first came out, you had such distinct turquoise and white contrast was amazing and then inevitably as you're as they were it's all pouring out the cup it's mixing in the cup so you, it blends together however i've got some really nice white sections in the center so i'm hoping that when i stretch this out in a minute it will actually um pull out the white and pull out the, out the contrast between the different colors So I also had a little bit of this blue left over from the triptych. So I'm going to use that as a, as a flow extender. And that just means all I've used all the paints then from that triptych, which is good. So I'm just going to pour this around the edge. Right, I'm going to give it a torch because I can see quite a lot of air bubbles. And the good thing about torching a straight pour, I think, is that it creates what looks like cells where the air bubbles burst. So actually then when you tilt that, it can look really pretty. If you tilt it right at, oh, sorry, if you torch it right at the end, you get lots of little tiny speckles, which I don't like as much. So by, to by torching it now, any speckles can be stretched out so they look more like cells. Right, gloves. So let me just show you close up before I get started. Hopefully you can see that centre. So pretty. And you can see, can you see there's a darker section here and a darker section here. And that happened because I twisted the cup round. If I'd have kept my hand exactly still, you'd have had a lighter half to the painting and a darker half to the painting, I think. Right, let's just start stretching it. So the flow extender is working really well because you can see that ridge of dark blue. So it's pushing against that so that it's not rolling over itself as much. It's just pushing against that blue paint. I've got a good amount of paint on here because this is moving beautifully really easily right let's start going off over some corners I'm just moving it round really in a circle. Right, that is all covered. So I'm just bringing the weight of the paint back to the centre and then I can have a look at it and decide what I do if I need to do anything else. Wow. So if I said that this painting isn't me at all because it's it hasn't got lots of bright colours in, but I really, really like it. It's not my style at all. It really isn't, but actually... 
it's so pretty. I am a bit disappointed it has muddied. I would quite like to have had more distinct lines. Instead, I've got, I haven't got much white. I've got a blend. But actually, it's really pretty. The only bit I think is a little bit boring is this. So I'm just wondering about maybe trying to stretch that corner off. All of this, I love. It is beautiful. But there's just not much going on up here. So I think my instinct is telling me, let's just get rid of a bit of that. And see if I can make it look a bit more interesting in that corner. There's a lot of paint on here still, so that's really good. So it just means that I could, I could do a lot more stretching around. Right, let's go. I'll bring that back and then see what that does. I can always go again. Actually, no, that's fine. That's that's opened it up really beautifully. Look at that now. Much wider lines. So I've got two choices. One is just to leave it. One is to keep tilting. There's a lot of lines here which haven't had the opportunity to really open up and expand. So that could look really beautiful if I get to open this up. But equally, I'm really happy with this composition. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. You've got some really elegant sections around the edge where the line's really pretty and then the sort of crazy, a busy centre and then that little, well, little tornado in the centre of white. Really dark section here I really like. I'm going to leave it. I love it. I'm really, really happy. Right, let me show you close up. I absolutely love it. The more I look at this, I love it. I absolutely love the composition um, because, as I said, you've got the really, really complex bit here, the really um, detailed bit. But then you've got these wonderful edges, these opened up edges. Um, I just want to show you this. So um, the phthalo, uh, the Prussian blue phthalo is a semi-transparent paint. Can you see these lines within the lines? There's almost like you've got the lines and then you've got there you've got stripes within them and i think that is because of the transparency it's absolutely fascinating so you've got the lines but you've got something going on diagonally throughout the lines and then you've got the edges of the folds there the colors are gorgeous i know i'm disappointed that i don't have such separate distinct colors but the colour that has blended is gorgeous. It's a really nice sort of charcoal, grey, bluey colour. So it's really pretty. And then I love that really dark line there just for, for contrast. And then the centre. Really pretty. So this is the section I was wondering about stretching out because there's so much detail there. So if that was opened up, that would look fab. But if I do that, I take a risk. Look at the depth. Wow, that's so cool. Um, if I take, if I open that up, I just take a risk of not being happy. Well, actually, I think sometimes it's better just to stop knowing that I am happy. Um, yeah, really happy. I wouldn't get the same composition. It would be totally, totally different. That white section would get too big. No, I love it just like this. Oh, I'm excited. Right, I'll be back when it's dry. It's dried absolutely perfectly. It hasn't moved at all. It's exactly how I left it and I absolutely love it. Thank goodness for that really bright white centre because that just makes it and it, it just looks like a little tornado um, in the middle of a storm to me. Um, it's so muted. The colours are so kind of mono, monotone but it works so well. And it, considering I just love my bright contrasting colors, I'm amazed I love this so much. Um, I think the shape helps as well, actually, the shape of the canvas, because it's not, there's not a lot of interest in the, in the contrast of colors. I think it being a hexagonal canvas just makes it really interesting. Um, the lines are incredible. So many lines, so many folds. You can just see exactly how this paint was poured onto the canvas just by looking at the folds um, and the details. So there are just millions of shades of the same sort of deep, tealy, turquoisey, bluey colour. 
that bit there just almost looks like water, little sh shallow water with the sun shining through it. And then the centre, I'm so pleased with how neat I managed to get that centre. Just look at the depth in it. And then my favourite dark line, just that just offsets this white in the centre beautifully. So I'm so pleased with it. Just so happy that I didn't throw the paints away. I made something out of the leftovers and something I'm really proud of and really pleased with. Great, thank you for watching. Do hit the thumbs up button if you like it. Um, please leave me comments. Please do subscribe to my channel. Great, thank you so much for watching. Bye.